Welcome to the Refugees Journey to the Municipality Training. This training provides an overview of Quota Refugees Journey to Finland and to the new home municipality. It also presents a general view of the Finnish resettlement process and reception of Quota Refugees. In addition, this training will provide viewpoints on multi-sectoral and comprehensive integration support in the initial phase. This training has been developed in collaboration with the Finnish Refugee Council and IOM Finland. The Asylum, Migration and Integration Fund of the European Union has supported the development and implementation of this training. Welcome! After a short introduction, we'll look into the quota refugees' journey to Finland and to the new home municipality in two parts. Firstly, we'll take a look over the steps before arriving to Finland and then the arrival to the municipality and the first steps of integration. Links to additional materials are provided at the end. The aim of this training is to increase our understanding of the Quota Refugees' journey to Finland and the initial integration process in the municipality. The reasoning for the training is that it provides an overview which makes it easier to apprehend one's own professional role in supporting integration. Integration is always a local but also a multifaceted process. However, for a person who has arrived in Finland, integration is always an individual process. It affects one's identity and one's perception of the world, one's opportunities and possibilities in life. Thus, integration is an important process, both societally and individually. All encounters in the new home municipality and all of the basic services affect integration. Therefore, it is important to reflect upon one's own professional role and its significance in supporting integration. Municipalities have professionals who are specialized in integration support. The expertise of the professionals of the integration support units or teams is crucial in supporting integration. Among other things, they often consult professionals in various service sectors. Alongside this expertise, comprehensive integration requires multiprofessional and multisectoral competence, participation and inclusion. Every encounter can build trust towards the new home country and support integration. Multiprofessional viewpoint enables a comprehensive support for integration in municipalities and regionally. Professionals in various basic and public services have a significant role in supporting integration. Integration does not realize in a single service point or sector, but rather in every encounter, both during leisure time and in all of the regional basic services. At the beginning of integration, we fellow human beings are like windows to Finland for those who have recently arrived. We can each think about the kind of a window we are showing an opening to our client or patient or student who is integrating in Finland. At the beginning of integration, the way we meet people has significant consequences towards integrating into Finland.
There are many reasons of immigration to Finland. However, within the framework of this training, we may simplify the immigration to Finland as twofold, voluntary and forced. Voluntary immigration refers to moving to Finland for work or study or for family reasons. Forced immigration refers to moving to Finland involuntarily under forced circumstances fleeing, or in other words, through becoming a refugee. In a more specific terms, during this training, people who have been granted international protection are referred to as refugees. In practice, this means the quota refugees Finland selects and those people who have arrived as asylum seekers and to whom Finland has granted residence permits based on the need for protection and their family members. The general overview that we will take a look into applies to quota refugees' journey to Finland and the beginning phase of integration in the municipality. However, it is good to note that the needs for services and support can be similar with other people who have just moved to Finland. The process is multifaceted. It is crucial to bear in mind that upon arrival, people have various kinds of skills, potential and language skills. But they don't have any Finnish or Swedish language skills yet. People don't have a lot of information about Finland, or the information can be false, and therefore people don't yet possess all the necessary civic competencies. The recently arrived are at the beginning of the integration process, faced with the unknown, and many of the customs and practices are unfamiliar. The idea behind familiarizing with the overview is that the better we understand our client's situation and circumstances, the better we can manage our core duties and support integration. Finland has been resettling quota refugees for over 40 years. Therefore, it can be said that resettling quota refugees is a well-established orderly and legal practice, and as regulated and safe as possible. The Ministry of the Interior of Finland has stated that the resettlement of quota refugees is an efficient and effective way of helping the most vulnerable refugees, since their needs for protection and other conditions for residence are assessed before they arrive in Finland. The training material is the infographic about the quota refugees journey to Finland and to the home municipality. The infographic is available in Finnish, Swedish and English. It can be downloaded saved and printed from the IOM Finland website finland.iom.int This training follows the steps displayed in the infographic. First, we'll go over the crucial stages before arrival to Finland. The reasons leading to becoming a refugee are always war, conflict and persecution. The collapse of society impacts persons' ability to trust. Trust in society and in the institutions and values it has stood for has been shaken. Trust in authorities and in fellow human beings has been broken. This loss of trust 
affects the need for integration support often more significantly than religious or cultural factors. War, conflict and persecution force people to leave behind their homes, familiar people and places, relatives, friends and pets. The refugee journeys can be a long period in life, consisting of many departures and losses, but also happier things in life. The refugee status can last for years and people often flee within their country to a safer area until they are forced to continue the flights across country borders. Experiences of war and living in fear and insecurity also influence interaction after arrival in Finland, for example in various situations in the basic services. The experiences influence how the officials are seen and communication is interpreted. The meanings of concepts and words can be very different. They are not necessarily shared at the beginning of integration. Building trust should be the aim of all the professionals in the basic services. Instead of emphasizing differences, interaction based on shared humanity supports integration and belonging. Each client should be treated as an individual and not as a representative of any culture. Some may have experience of a peaceful and organized society but it's also possible that a person has lived amongst conflict all their life. Some have lived in refugee camps and some in urban environments. Adult quota refugees have very different educational backgrounds and experiences. In recent years, for example, Finland has resettled Congolese from Zambia and Syrians from Turkey and Lebanon. Perhaps the only common denominator for all of them is that they are survivors. The most important actor in the field of international refugees is the UNHCR the United Nations Refugee Agency. The UNHCR has an international mandate to assess and determine both the refugee status of a person and the need to be resettled, in other words, to become what is called a quota refugee. To apply for international protection, a person who has fled their country of origin to another country must go to the UNHCR office in order to be resettled. A refugee cannot, however, start the asylum process themselves. A person can only seek asylum from, for example, Finland, from the borders or within the borders of Finland. Nobody can therefore apply to the Finnish refugee quota. The UNHCR decides who it will propose for a country's refugee quota. First, the UNHCR makes an assessment on whether a person meets the refugee status criteria. Then the UNHCR assesses whether the person is in need of resettlement. If a refugee meets these criteria, the UNHCR proposes them to be resettled to a country with the refugee quota. In practice, a person living as a refugee who can't return to the country of their origin, nor stay in the country they fled to, can be resettled as a quota refugee. It is noteworthy that globally only a fraction of people in need of resettlement find a new home country through this process. 
This is influenced by the number of countries that have a refugee quota and how large the quota is, in other words, how many people they resettle. The UNHCR proposes quota refugees for Finland and Finland handles the proposals independently. Finland chooses persons who are in need of international protection and resettlement. A person being resettled as a quota refugee cannot decide where they move or what will be their new home country. Therefore, one cannot choose Finland as the new home country, rather it is Finland that selects its own quota refugees. The parliament decides on the yearly number of quota refugees and the government decides on the territorial allocation of the quota based on the proposal prepared by the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry for Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Economic Affairs and Employment. A quota refugee selected for Finland must meet the requirements of Section 92 of the Aliens Act. The Finnish selection delegation selects the individuals for the Finnish refugee quota. The selection missions are implemented within a project led by the Finnish Immigration Service which includes specialists from the Finnish Security and Intelligence Service, the Finnish Immigration Service and integration experts. The delegation interviews the refugees proposed for Finland in the country where they are staying, either in person or remotely. The selection is based on the documents prepared by the UNHCR and the interviews conducted by Finnish officials. There is about 10% in the quota reserved for emergency cases. Their selection is carried out according to the same Finnish principles, but on a dossier basis, without the interviews, due to, for example, urgency related to their security and health. The selections are made based on overall evaluation. Finland selects the most vulnerable people. The Finnish Immigration Service grants refugee status in Finland and a personal residence permit to each quota refugee selected by Finland. At the time also, the individual residence cards will be ordered. Quota refugees are granted a continuous residence permit, A, for four years. This permit includes an unrestricted right to work. The residence permit card is a plastic card, similar in size as driver's license, it has biometric identifiers, such as photo and fingerprints, a person's name and personal identification number, and the type and duration of the permit. Before traveling, the Finland-bound quota refugees are offered cultural orientation training, also known as the pre-departure orientation. The cultural orientation is organized in the country they are staying in. All of the country's resettling quota refugees do not organize cultural orientation, but Finland has organized it since 2001. Cultural orientation provides basic information about the new home country, its cultures, customs and structure. Finland organizes a cultural orientation training for the refugees it has selected before traveling to Finland 
in the country where the quota refugees are located and lasting usually three days. Cultural orientation is implemented in the participant's own language or with interpretation. Cultural orientation supports early integration, reduces cultural shock and consequently decreases the mental strain. Cultural orientation is organized in a project led by the Finnish Immigration Service, MIGRI. The International Organization for Migration, IOM, supports member states in their resettlement efforts. IOM Finland's specialist is among the trainers. The cultural orientation materials are available at MOF. Dot fi and at Migris YouTube page. Finnish municipalities decide independently whether they resettle quota refugees, in other words, provide them with municipal placements. Municipal placement means that the municipality reserves rental apartments for the arrivals and supports their integration. The municipality is also required to have an integration program approved by the municipal representatives and an agreement with the Centre for Economic Development, Transport and the Environment, ELU. The integration program can be municipal or regional. The state reimburses costs for resettlement and integration of the quota refugees to the municipalities. For more information, visit integration.fi. People arriving as quota refugees have the same obligation to pay the rent as any other tenant. Quota refugees cannot choose their home municipality or the apartment as these are assigned to them. Home is a crucial factor in supporting integration in the Finnish resettlement process. Next, we'll go through the steps from arriving to Finland. These are the steps displayed on the second page of the infographic from arriving to Finland and the beginning phase of integration in the municipality and various public services. There are more steps than shown in the infographic and their order may vary. Once the municipality has received information about the arrival of the quota refugees, they will begin preparing for the reception. The municipality works closely with the Finnish Red Cross on arrival arrangements. International Organization for Migration, IOM, is a global actor and assists with, for example, obtaining documents needed to leave the country and travel. And then the journey to Finland can begin. Reception in Finland is an important moment in a person's life. People arriving as quarter refugees often remember the exact date they came to Finland, which conveys how important event the arrival is. It is a significant turning point in a person's life. It is the day when one is literally handed the keys to a new home and a new beginning. In practice, fleeing and finding safety ends at the doorstep of the new home. 
From the professional's point of view, it is important to note that although the physical journeys have ended, the psychological and mental fleeing remains. This means different things to different people. A refugee becomes a resident of the municipality with all the same rights and obligations as everyone else. Therefore, it is important that the new municipal resident gets information about their rights and obligations at the beginning of integration. Meetings with the basic public and integration support services begin. The coordination of integration is important because there are several official matters in many different services to be taken care of at the beginning of integration. The integration of people who have arrived as quota refugees requires a lot of guidance with the public service interpretation and outreach work. A sufficient amount of time should be allowed and reserved so that everything can be interpreted and explained understandably. Building trust in client work is crucial for the progress of integration. Use clear language and explain the professional terminology you are using. For example, professional titles don't necessarily reveal what you do in practice or what kinds of issues you may be able to help with. Justify your actions and explain, for example, why you are asking the things that you are asking in your professional capacity. Encourage a client who is integrating and give good feedback about the everyday successes. Dealing with challenging topics is also demanding for the professionals. There are many good approaches available. Pastelitos Multicultural Specialist Anita Novitsky's Guide for Appreciative and Respectful Encounter is easy to remember. Respect, listen, ask and thank. In Finland, all moves, including immigration, must be notified by the person concerned. However, the notification of move into Finland from abroad cannot be made in writing only, as is the case with the notification of move within the country. When moving to Finland for the first time, the person must register personally with the Digital and Population Data Services Agency, DVV. When registering, the municipality of residence is recorded. The forms and attachment forms are available at the website dvv.fi. A person who has arrived in Finland as a quota refugee is entitled to Finnish Social Security. Therefore, everyone needs to apply for their individual Keller cards after arriving to Finland. The social benefits need to be applied as well, if necessary. Most people have used all their savings during the refugee journeys, but not everyone. It is of pivotal importance to get the right information about the Kela benefits at the beginning of the integration process. People with refugee backgrounds may be suspicious towards authorities due to their earlier experiences. 
People don't automatically trust officials, therefore it is important to explain what institution Kela is and why information is collected and who has access to the information. The initial health examination is an important step of the resettlement process. In practice, the initial health examination includes an interview, which should be conducted individually and separately for each adult. Health examinations, thorax x-ray, in other words, a lung x-ray, and laboratory tests. Oral health is also an important part of the initial health examination. If necessary, the client should be referred to specialist medical care, a maternity and child health clinic, or other health services as required. The professional should always make sure that a public service interpreter, in other words, a professional interpreter, is booked. A spouse friend, family member, or a child should never be used as an interpreter. At the appointment, explain your professional role, what will be asked and examined, and for what reason, and where the information will be stored. In order to build trust, it is a good idea to explain who has access to patients' medical records. Matters pertaining to health may be difficult to discuss and be associated with traumatic events. Allow enough time to address them. Prepare the person for questions and don't get straight to the point. It is worth investing towards a calm and friendly presence. The most important thing is that the client or patient feels safe. Experiences of violence, mental health or substance abuse need to be addressed regardless of gender, background or beliefs, but sensitively. The terminology used should be explained by using examples when necessary. When it comes to children, their well-being and their best interest should be prioritized. The foundation for future appointments is built during the first encounters with healthcare professionals. A safe atmosphere during a consultation is crucial. Oral health is an important part of overall general health and well-being. Therefore, a dentist's checkup is an important part of the initial health examination. Many newly arrived who have a refugee background have not had the chance to get a dentist's appointment in years, or sometimes they have never had that opportunity. Being a refugee impacts health and well-being in many different ways. Treat people as individuals. Each adult should have their separate appointment. It is important that a health professional guides the care protocol and ensures that samples and prescribed medicines are taken correctly and treatments are completed. Referrals to laboratory tests and pharmacy prescriptions also need to be explained at a practical level. It's also important to note that there are no interpreters in pharmacies.
An approved identification is necessary for handling official matters and everyday life in Finland. The foreigner's identity card is applied from the police. The foreigner's identity card may be issued for a maximum period of five years and may not exceed the period of validity of the residence permit or residence card. The foreigner's identity card is not a travel document. In addition, it can only be applied from the Finnish police, not for example, from Finnish missions abroad. The citizenship is marked as three X's. A person who has arrived as quota refugee applies for passport from the Finnish Immigration Service, Migri. A person might not have a passport at all or it can expire. Also, Finnish authorities may not acknowledge passports from certain countries. A person who has arrived as a quota refugee is eligible for the refugee travel document, the so-called green passport from Migri. The nickname of the passport is derived from its color. The refugee travel document is a green passport. MIGRI provides the services in all matters pertaining to passports, not the police. A quota refugee may hold a passport from their country of origin, however, they are not requested to deal with the embassy of the country of their region as they have fled their country and applied for protection from another state. Finland has decided to provide them with international protection, therefore they will handle passport matters with Finnish officials, that is to say, with Migri. Information about passports, residence permits, family reunification and statistics are available at migri.fi. Applications to early childhood education. Children often integrate well with the help of the Finnish daycare system and competent professionals. For parents though, the new language and yet unfamiliar customs and the system cause challenges. The self-evident things of the Finnish society do not always appear in the same way to newly arrived people with refugee backgrounds. Visits to the daycare, getting to know the professionals with public service interpretation and multilingual materials help to understand what early childhood education in Finland is and support parenting. Enrollment in school. Visits and getting information about the Finnish education system is important for the whole family. How the educational institution functions, the staff, teacher's role, subjects and timetables can be understood in different ways. Multilingual materials and correct information and parents' evenings with public service interpretation, school info sessions, and theme events, support integration and parenting effectively. A bank account should be opened and online banking IDs requested as soon as possible. 
accepted identity documents must be checked with the bank. It can be challenging to use online banking IDs if one has no experience with digital services or has not yet learned the language. For many, integration requires not only learning the language and civic competencies, but also learning digital skills. It is important to acquire a home insurance as well as soon as possible after arrival. Some banks offer insurances, so it is important to allow sufficient time for this as well. Integration is supported during the integration period. The period designated for each person is individual. The time a person is entitled to the integration plan is referred to as the integration period. It is commonly three years from signing the first integration plan but can last up to five years if there is a particular reason. For quota refugees, it is usually four years. This is due to, for example, the financial support the municipality receives from the state. However, from the viewpoint of an individual, integration as a lived experience cannot be over or completed in three years. Alongside the receptivity of society and municipal services, persons' individual features, preparedness, circumstances and age, health, education, family and social networks affect integration. The use of public service interpreters is not limited to the integration period. An official must always use a public service interpreter when they don't have a common language with their client or when the language skills are not at a required level considering the subject matter. In the Finnish system, people who have arrived as quota refugees and are of working age and able to work are referred to the TE services, in other words, employment services, just like the rest of the population. In the municipalities of the local government pilot on employment, they are referred to the municipal employment services. Those who have arrived as quota refugees become unemployed job seekers upon registration by the TE services or employment services. They are subject to an initial assessment and a first integration plan. Usually the first integration plan is drawn up for an initial period of one year. Normally, newly arrived immigrants are directed to integration training, which in Finland is mainly carried out as labor market training. This therefore excludes those who are not clients of the TE office or employment services. Integration training includes Finnish or Swedish language teaching and other teaching that promotes access to working life, further education and promotes civic competencies. The information is usually provided in Finnish or Swedish, which means that the new information needs to be adopted in a new language. All 
adults arriving in Finland as quota refugees are not covered by the TE services or municipal employment services. For example, stay-at-home parents, pensioners or caregivers are not eligible for integration training provided by the TE services. However, like all municipal residents, they are entitled to municipal services. In this case, an initial assessment and integration plan will be carried out by the municipality for all newcomers entitled to it. The municipal integration services vary. The role of the municipality is particularly important in supporting the integration of these people and families. Multisectoral cooperation and collaboration with associations is important. Kotoutumisentukena.fi is a national website in Finnish and Swedish where one can search and announce activities that support integration. Integration is a process. Language skills and civic competence are the two pillars of integration. Learning a new language is important but takes some years to accomplish. The integration process can be accelerated by providing information about Finnish society in the languages of the newly arrived refugees. The Finnish Refugee Council has developed a civic orientation model that can be freely utilized in municipalities, regionally and nationally in different services and associations. More information and free textbooks are available at yhteiskuntaorientatio.fi. From the viewpoint of supporting integration, it is good to take into consideration the importance professionals' communication skills have. Experiences of war, lack of language skills and a growing understanding of Finland as a country may affect the interaction with a person who has just arrived as a quota refugee. These experiences also affect forming meaning. A person can be included in interaction through shared meaning. Therefore, it is advisable to pay attention to communication that supports integration. A significant proportion of our communication is nonverbal. Therefore, it is commendable to reflect on whether our nonverbal communication supports our verbal communication. A language aware approach enhances the inclusion of a person who is integrating and provides one viewpoint towards professional development. The aim of the language-aware approach is the shared expertise and understanding between a professional and a client. The client is the expert of their own life and experience, and the professional possesses information and skills to encounter listen and support the client in their life circumstance. The language-aware approach is included in the handbook titled Supporting Integration with One's Own Language. The handbook has been published in English, Swedish and Finnish. You can find it 
on the IOM Finland's website. Every encounter can support integration and even be a mending experience for a person with a refugee background. Officials and other employees at the municipalities and region, volunteers and organizational actors build the image of Finland and can all contribute to a sense of safety and belonging. We support integration together. Summary of the training Every encounter can support integration. Building trust is key. The meaning of the professional terms you use should be explained to the person who is integrating. In the work of officials, public service interpretation is indispensable. Always treat people as individuals and not as representatives of their culture. Health is a key factor in integration. Physical symptoms are often easier to detect and treat than psychological symptoms. Explain and ask about mental health when it's justified in your professional role. Partnerships between different professionals and experts support integration. Civic orientation in one's own language accelerates integration into Finland. Links and more information. The Center of Expertise in Immigrant Integration website supports professionals multisectorally. Integration.fi, a national website for finding activities that support integration in Finnish and Swedish. Kotoutumisen tukena.fi. The Finnish Institute of Health and Welfare's website offers a wide range of information and materials for professionals. Paloma Center of Expertise in Refugee Mental Health Work offers research results and information, materials and training to support professionals in different sectors. The Ministry of Economic Affairs and Employment has published short videos that are available in the YouTube channel of the Center of Expertise in Immigrant Integration in Finnish and Swedish about the reception of quota refugees in the municipality. The Estolitos website has materials for both professionals and people who are integrating. Opi kotoutumisesta, Learn about integration, is a free online training for anyone working with people who are integrating and interested in supporting integration. The training is in Finnish and Swedish. Lastly, there are videos produced in many languages available in YouTube at the Kotona Suomessa Projects page. They are suitable for self-study or to be utilized as part of integration training. Thank you very much for completing this training. On behalf of the Finnish Refugee Council and IOM Finland, we would like to thank the Asylum, Migration and Integration Fund of the European Union for supporting the implementation of this training.
If you are interested in organizing a refugee's journey to the municipality training, the training materials are available at IOM Finland's website.